Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over some cool stuff that we can do with Shodan. If you guys aren't familiar with Shodan, don't worry, watch till the end and you will learn something new. And DEF CON is only two or three weeks away, so just like always, if you guys see me out there, say hello. I do have some surprises up my sleeve, so come say hi. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. We did hit that 100k, so I'm super, super stoked. Many more to come. Thank you so much, and let's jump into it. All right, everyone. So, Shodan. If you go out to Shodan.io, you can see so many things here. You can explore, you can download, you can go to the pricing up here, all the way up here. You can see Shodan maps, images, monitor, so what is Shodan? Let's just go out to Google really quick and see what is Shodan. All right, so Shodan is the world's first search engine for Internet of Things. It's pretty much all internet connected devices, a search engine just for that. So as a pen tester or as a CISO or as a security researcher, whatever you want to call us, what we can do with this tool is see if there's exposures to our infrastructure. For an example, let's just do something really quick and easy, right? If we just come up here and just put google.com, I can spell Google, google.com, right? So quickly it will respond if my VM likes to uh, hurry up tonight. What this will do, it will give us a feedback of what services how many results, all right, so google.com, right? So now let's go reverse that with an IP address. So 8.8.8.8, .8 okay? We can see here, it's Google's DNS. 53 is obviously DNS is port, 443 is uh, HTTPS, and 53 UDP, 53 uh, TCP, etc. right? So you can see pretty much, this is pretty interesting. Right? So you can say, for example, you can put your own company to see if it's exposed out there to see if there's anything lingering. So if you want to talk about like an adversary or a bad guy or things we can do, say for an example, we just want to do, uh, see cameras, right? So I, I just have a cheat sheet here. So I want to go ahead and just do its title colon camera, right? So if we click on this or if we search for this, we can see... I'm just going to go into US. There's about 7,000 nodes out there, right? So what we can do here, I'm not going to go clicking on anything. If it doesn't pop up, it doesn't pop up. But we can actually look and see different cameras out there. So if you have a IP address, you can search for your IP address for your, your camera in this instance and see if it's exposed to the internet, right? And the next we can do is actually... Let me just uh, do another little query. And this is a general search for IoT devices for webcams that has uh, screenshots available, right? So we can do webcam space has underscore screenshot colon true, right? So what this is going to do is give us any kind of screenshots of webcam. So look, this is someone's backyard. Looks like it's going to the ocean. This is someone's backyard. This is someone's computer office. This is someone's bedroom. This is weird. But yeah, you guys get the gist. This is someone's like 3D printer. Looks like a 3D printer. Someone's outside the window. And you can see right here is the IP address and it's all on the public internet, right? So you're not doing anything malicious. It's just out there. If you put your stuff out there on the internet, you're gonna get exposed, right? So. I'm just trying to see what else we can show here. And the cameras is really interesting stuff. Let me go back here. And let's say for an example, we want to see uh, VoIP communication devices, right? So let's just go ahead and just do that for a second. And that's voice over IP. So these are just little, little operators that I have as my little cheat sheet where I go and I do if I'm doing reconnaissance or anything like that. So if we do device colon VoIP, we can see VoIP devices once it actually comes up. And this would like do, do a general search for voice over IP devices. Wow, this thing is slow as hell. 
I don't know if it's my VM or just my internet. I don't know, but who knows? It's not going to be a long video. It's just going to show you. I'm just going to show you guys some cool tricks you can use with Shodan and you can explore yourself, right? You can use so many different operators and you can just do your own research. And I just wanted to display this tool, which I think is super phenomenal, right? So New York, my city, let's see what's going on in New York. Let's, uh, let's go to New York City. And we'll give this a moment. All right, so we can see Polycom. We can see some OB, OBI 2000 Polycom. And if we just open this up, it'll probably give us an IP address. And now let's go ahead and see if we can go to this IP. So this is gonna show us a, you know, a login for this. I'm not gonna try to log in because that's not my point of this video, but you can see that there's so many cool things that we can do with this tool. Let me see what else. Uh, let's just go ahead and Polycom because Polycom is pretty uh, pretty famous, right? So let's just do this one since we've seen Polycom. Let's go ahead and just do title Polycom. And with Polycom, we'll see so many, everything that just has to do with this, right? Or would you just with Polycom logins? Uh, poly, polycom login, etc. All right, so the next thing we'll do is database searches, right? So say for example, we want to see the basic product of my SQL. So let's just come up here. We could do product colon my SQL, and this will search any MySQL servers that are exposed to the internet, right? And what does this mean? There's 3 million out here, that's crazy. And then you can go, you know, there's a million in the US and you get the point. So if you guys say, for example, we go to the US, let's just go to the US and we'll give this a moment. And do, 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 do. All right, so say for example, we click on here. Let's just see. This IP 50.87.94. And you can see a whole bunch of different ports. You can see some some open ports out here, pure F uh, FTPD. Um, you know, a lot of stuff, Apache, 110, POP, etc. So you guys get the gist. And if this is your IP, obviously you would be at work. You can check your IP. And for example, we can do one dot, well, Cloudflare, 1.1.1.1. And if this was your, you know, if this was your IP address, you can say, okay, guys, do we want to have all these ports open to the world? If not, let's go ahead and close them, right? And it's going to show you the IP which is probably on your WAN of your firewall, right? So you wanna make sure you can test that and see what's exposed to the internet. And if, it's, if it is exposed to the internet, you know, you don't want that, you should close those ports. So let's see if I have any other cool things. So we could do some like files and directories as well. Let's just do that really quick. So if we do HTTP.title and an index of slash, which is the root of a uh, directory. So let's just give this a jingle and see what uh, populates. Holy moly, this thing is super slow. So there's 62, 10 in the US, and you can see like Python packages and all this cool stuff, right? You can get the gist of what I'm trying to do. So now we can look at like, this is the fun thing I like to do, especially if I'm, you know, if I, if I'm doing a pen test for a client and I want to see if any of their, uh, servers have legacy windows operating systems or any any kind of legacy operating systems we can check that out so say for example we want to do os windows 2020 uh, uh 2012 right because 2012 is what 12 years old now i remember when i got certified in windows 2012 and i was like damn i'm the smartest kid in, on the block but you can see here like to uh there's outdated servers out there. So if this is your client, you can say, hey, you know, you can, you know, let them know that 2020 and 12 is outdated. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but you guys get the gist. Let's see, what anything else? Uh, generic credentials, you can just do like default credentials. Let's just do that really quick. I have that on my cheat sheet as well. You can just do default credentials, search in here and uh, see what pops up. <clears throat> so you can see no password is set for the default user and you know obviously this goes back to doing this with permission 
obviously I'm not condoning any, don't try to do this when you don't have permission to do it. And, uh, you know, th this is another funny thing. You know, I actually did this on a pen test and I think I tell this story about the, uh, about the, about the printer. So this is an HP printer and, uh, this is actually from my test right here. Let me see if, if this is still FTP laser printer, FTP server. So let's just see if this actually comes back. But yeah, it still does. Um, this is not my client. This is, but this is a Dell, for example, Dell D or B 2360DN laser printer. And you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. And obviously you can just, you know, type in hacked just to see if there's anything hacked out there. And uh, this is general, you know, anything that's been compromised and all that stuff. So obviously Russia, 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 Russia. But yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you have any questions or any tricks that you want to share, throw it in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.